Right, so as DJs, our main job when we're doing gigs is to play the appropriate music for the appropriate audience. And this could vary depending on from gig to gig. Um, a couple examples is if we have older people, maybe you're doing a party for a grandparent or something like that, or if you're doing a party where there might be kids pre present at the event, such as Sweet 16s, birthday parties, and stuff like that, nothing could get you kicked off the DJ deck faster than playing curses or something inappropriate when there's children present. So, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you some of the unique features that DJ Pro offers that we could use to censor out some of these bad words. And we're going to start with my favorite one first. So, we're going to be using an effect to do this. So, you could, I'm going to show you later in the video, you could um, use filters, you could edit out the volume, you could even use Neuromix, but I found that this scratcher effect is the coolest and it really sounds good. So, we're going to go over, when you start the app, you're going to see this in classic mode, which is just the jog wheel or record deck, and now we're going to go press this um, mixer section, and this is where you'll find your effects and your cue points and all of that. We'll go over to effects, and now you could find the scratcher all the way down at the bottom of the list of effects um, in the Sugar Bites warp effects. So this is the scratcher effect. Now keep in mind, um, this effect is a little bit different than other effects in that you're going to want to move this parameter uh, a little bit to the beat, so you don't want to just press on and off like you would do with flanger or other effects. We are going to pretty much be scratching with this slider here when we use the effect. So let's just, I'm not going to play any curses because I don't want the video to get taken down, but let's just say some of these vocals are curses and we would want to edit them out. So it's also a good idea to mark it with your cue points where there's going to be a curse. So let's just say that was a curse. So we're going to go over here to our cue points. Hmm, I made a lot here, but let's just go over here, add a new cue point, and then we could change the name. So first of all, you could change the colors in DJ Pro. So it's always a good idea when you're preparing a track to have a code of colors for what stuff means, like a start and end. For this example, we're going to use this bright yellow for curses. So if you look up here at the waveforms, we will always be able to see this, and it will be a warning for us that if we have to edit it out, we will see it there. And then I'm just going to write curse. So now we know where the curse is in the song so we could prepare and get ready. So when that part of the song is coming up, we're gonna switch over to our effects and have our scratcher effect ready, just like this. So it really sounds like a scratch. It sounds really cool. It sounds like you're actually scratching with the jog wheels if you do it right by, by moving this slider back and forth and it is one of my favorite ways how to get rid of a cursed word very quickly and on the fly you don't really have to be paying attention that much you could just hear it in your head like oh i think there's a curse and then go to your scratcher and scratch it right out another thing we could do is utilize the filters so what the filter does is the high pass filter will remove all of the bass and the low pass filter will remove all of the highs and then have a kind of like a sweeping sound. So this is what it would sound like if we use the high pass filter for this. Uh, let's turn off scratcher, hold on. Turn off scratcher. So you could use that sweeping sound to get rid of the curse word, and this works really well too. Another one that we could do is by using our volume faders. So in classic mode, if we press this button over here, we'll have access to our volume faders. Just keep in mind that you won't be able to see the waveforms, so either know when you're gonna do this or look at the small waveforms up here. And simply, I'm just gonna 
cut the volume out, bring it back. This is important that you do it fast because you never want too much silence in your set. That wasn't that good, let's try it again. Just get used to moving the volume fader up and down with the beat. Now this way is a, a lot easier if you're using a controller where you could just slam the fader up and down, but it could still be done with just the iPad, but you would just have to make sure you have a good grip on the touchscreen of the volume slider. Now another way to do this is DJ Pro has a really great vocal and instrumental separator called Neuro Mix. So to access this, the easiest way is if you press this end down here, you have the option to go all the way to the right, which is vocals only. You just created a acapella. But if you go all the way to the left, you're going to have an instrumental. So if we're getting rid of a bad word, we could just slide it to the left and then we're in instrumental and then you won't be able to hear the curse word. And then there you go. So this one is really easy because unlike the effects where you have to cycle to the effect menu, find the correct effect, DJ Pro AI gives us this really convenient neural mix slider down here. So whenever you think there's going to be a curse or maybe something that's not a curse, but just not appropriate for the event that you're doing, boom, one instant, you could slide it over. It doesn't cut out. The beat doesn't cut out the music. The people that are dancing, it's not going to affect them dancing. There's not going to be any silence. It's not going to sound like you did a tomato. You're still going to have the beat of the actual song playing, but you took out the vocals just like that. And that is a great way of using the technology that DJ Pro gives us in order to edit out some of these curses. Now, the last one that I'm going to talk about is going to be by using samples so we go over here i'm just going to switch over to pro mode because it's a little bit easier to see our samples because we have this big sample bank down here and i'm going to show you guys with the air horn so with the air horn it's a different type of effect we don't ever want to have the volume on full at the beginning so the volume slider down here we'll keep it a little bit low and then when i use the air horn i kind of press it a bunch of times raising the volume and lowering the volume. So here is an example. And now you have to be careful with this one because it's not going to make the curse word go away. It's just gonna cover the curse word. So maybe practice with a bunch of songs and see if it will be enough to get rid of the whole curse word. So I really hope this helped because I know the struggle of trying to find songs, trying to find the edited versions of songs. And sometimes when you're using streaming services or other ways to, to get your DJ music, it might be hard to find these edit, edited versions. It might be time consuming and it might be confusing inside of your playlist. So having these tools in our toolbox to be able to instantly edit any song in case we forgot there was a curse, in case we were asked to play a request and then there's a curse, this will help us get out of any jam and not upset our crowd. So if you like learning about DJ Pro AI and how to DJ with the iPad and the future of DJing and AI technology, subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. I make these DJ tutorial videos several times a week.